What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and continue where we left off in making our farm a little bit more profitable, making our house a little bit sexier, and also reaping the rewards of being the champion. The community had tried to step to us, and they had found out the hard way that Figgle Farmer likes to win, and did win, resoundingly. Okay, I won by like 12 points, but still we won. Hey, I thought it would be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Here, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anybody, but I snagged this from the back room of Jojo Mart ages ago. Alright, I'll see you soon. Pepper poppers. So you gave me ancient pepper poppers that you found in the backyard of a grocery store. I guess it's the thought that counts. I'm not going to be too picky about it, because Shane seems like he's going through rough times right now. And so I don't want to nitpick and maybe send him careening over the edge. Which is completely different from Kareeming Over the Edge. Kareeming Over the Edge you take pictures of, and then also post them on sports forums. Kareening Over the Edge, eh, not so much. Not so much. We have another ancient fruit. And so now that we got ourselves an ancient fruit, I will probably sell off most of this corn. I don't know how many collections I have left to fiddle with. I mean, it looks like we've got plenty of things going on right here. People have complained that... I keep selling stuff that I have bundles for. Yeah, I know. I, I'm absolutely aware of it. It's just we can get those items like every single day. They replenish themselves, so I'm not super worried about it. We need to get the winter foraging bundle. We should be able to make it to winter pretty soon in the next couple episodes, I hope. I haven't totally decided how long I'm going to keep this series running or how I'm going to keep it going. Right now is a weird time on the channel. It happens. It happens every now and again, and so I'm, I'm trying to make some executive decisions right now so that nothing drastic has to happen. Did I lose a tapper right here? I feel like I lost a tapper right here. Where'd my tapper go? Oh, man. Has that always been there? See, you guys always know because you view this thing. You can tell me whether or not it's been there. I, on the other hand, am pretty oblivious about 80% of the time. It's one of my major defining characteristics. How come it sounds like the cows have rubber teats? Like when you milk them, that squishing, it sounds very uncomfortable, like that weird, like your hand on a balloon sound. It sounds like it would be very uncomfortable for the cow. Other cow, come here. Give me your milkses. Oh, the cows get happier, like, naturally. Hopefully it has no milk right now. But yeah, it looks like these get, like, super happy naturally. What does that do, allow pregnancy? Oh yeah, I'll allow pregnancies. Actually, it might be a good thing to disable it since I don't have the room for them. I don't really want to build any more barns right now. God, life is so much easier now that we have this farm all automated. Like, I don't have to do anything anymore. It's the greatest. I wake up every day and I just reap money from the fields. If only it was that easy. If only life was that easy. I'll probably just get rid of this stuff right here. The pepper poppers, oh, they give you plus two farming, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I really want them, though. It sounds like he got them out of some dubious source in the back of a supermarket. Maybe they were frozen, though, who knows. Throw those in there, we've got five of those. I do need to put those in the collection, the five gold corns. Haven't done it yet, though. Haven't done it yet, doesn't really matter. We've got milk right there. I don't know what I wanted to do today, so I'm going to come up with something to do. We're going to go to town. And we're going to take a look at the calendar and make sure there's not any gifts that need to be given out. Oh, yes, we need to attend to our chickens as well. Little chickens. Greetings, chickens. Got four eggs inside of here, which is good because our little mayonnaise farming operation, our weird little mayonnaise coalition to make everyone love us, is plodding along appropriately. However, with the lack of eggs, it does make people loving me a lot more difficult. So let's stay on course here. Let's stay on task. I may look around for some forageables, but eh, I, I don't really have an idea of what I want to work on today. Going down into the dungeon a little bit deeper sounds pretty good. If we can get to the bottom of it, that'd be pretty swell. I, It'll take some time, though, and if there's other stuff to be accomplished, I would rather do that. So today is Georgie's birthday, and then in three days we've got Halloween. Spirit's Eve or Hollow's Eve or something like that. Let's see here. George... Georgia Mundo. Ooh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. Well, at least he said thank you. I mean, I wasn't so totally sure that it was going to be something that he would like, but fresh mayonnaise seems like it would be both disgusting and delicious. I don't really know where the trigger is for me. Something about fresh mayonnaise just rubs me the wrong way where I'm like, Ugh. But getting it from the store is okay. I don't under I know it's illogical. I know it makes no sense. 
And I can't tell you exactly why it is that I feel that way. It's just a thing that triggers with me. I'm like, eh, that seems kind of gross. I don't know if I want this anymore. Did Abigail... I don't think... What does that mean? Huh. Why are the hearts grayed out? That's weird. Interesting. I never noticed that before. I wonder if that was a new patch addition or something. I'll have to take a look at it after this episode and figure out what it means. It'll be fine. I'm not too concerned about it. I'm hoping it doesn't have ornamental fans. Oh, like goes into like a little drink, like a sex on the beach or like a Mai Tai? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Sex on the beach is a fantastic drink, actually. I got a friend that makes, we call them sand in your shorts. Just because that's what they call them at restaurants that are for like families and stuff like that. They call them sand in your shorts. So if you ever see it on the menu, a sand in your shorts is a sex on the beach. They just change the name around for like TGI Fridays, like family friendly places that want to have the patronage of people with kids. Stuff like that, they change the name around a little bit to make it, I guess, more socially acceptable and to increase repression or something. I don't really know. What's what's wrong with the word? Sex. I don't know. Some people seem to have an allergy to it. And the words like genitalia, things like that. They do that thing where they, like, hesitate before they say it, and they have, like, this marked look of disgust on their face. They're like, you know you like it. What are you lying for right now? Your facial expression is betraying you. So you're telling me that you're married, you go home... And all the benefits of marriage or relationships or whatever, have they hold no interest with you. Hold no interest whatsoever. I don't know. I think some people just weren't raised. Like, for example, my family never, ever, ever talked about anything like that because they were super religious. Like, crazy religious. I will probably walk this back path to find some forageables. Yeah, my family was super religious, so they never talked about anything like that. My other friends had families that were super open about it and make jokes in the living room and stuff like that, and it seems like it's just a more well-balanced way to go about, I don't know, your business. I mean, I don't want to I don't want to put anybody out in the cold. That's not my intention. It's just that, like, the human body is natural, and the functions thereof I don't think should be vilified or, like, run up a pole or anything like that. Because then you end up giving people, like, neuroses and shit. I just don't think that anybody should be, like, raised or taught that something they came equipped with and the functions thereof, that there's anything wrong with that. Like, they need to be taught responsibility growing up and that there are consequences for your actions and that you need to be careful about the things that you do. But much beyond that, I don't see any reason to make people afraid of what's supposed to come naturally. It's a weird conversation to have in the middle of, like, an episode, isn't it? A very weird conversation. One of those ones that, like, I'm going to have to think about maybe editing out. But I don't know. Let's continue forward. We've got our mayonnaise. We already gave George a present. Hearts are graying out rapidly, and I have no idea what that means. However, have I given gifts to the wizard today? Let's go give gifts to the wizard. we got to give him a couple of things, actually. And we've got an entire week to do it. It's Wednesday right now, so we can't buy any more seeds. I am not in the market to build any more fields, just until I figure out what the criteria are for winter. Just because I wanted to find out there. Gunter, why would he want an ornamental fan from a drink on a beach? Seems like an odd item to keep around, but hey, I'm not going to question it. I'm going to bring some solar essences out here and we'll give these to the wizard. Hopefully that'll bring us up a little bit further. I know he's absolutely in love with them. Every time we give him out, it seems like he makes a big hullabaloo about it. And so I'm hoping it'll raise up hearts quickly. I'd also like to learn other people's storylines. They haven't popped yet, and so we haven't, like, gone around anybody. We're up to, like, three hearts with some people, four hearts with Penny, and yet we still haven't gotten her second. I thought that every two hearts you got a storyline event for the characters in your playthrough, but I guess I must have been misinformed about that. Maybe it's, like, at two, five, and ten or something like that. I'd have to relook it up. It's been a while. I don't really look at the wiki for stuff. I like to play and figure it out on my own. And then after the fact, once I've beaten it once or twice, then I'll try to go back through and do like a perfect playthrough. For example, I'm trying to do like a perfect playthrough of Banner Saga right now, and it's a pain in the ass. It's a giant pain in the ass to get like a perfect playthrough where like nobody dies. And it, set, it essentially sets you on a path where you're always going to be out of supplies. You're always going to be just like totally hard up and barely making it, and it's just a pain. There we go. So there's that for him. Did that bring him up at all? Nope. Doesn't matter, though. We have all the time in the world to fiddle around with some of this stuff. I 
All right. Well, things to set my mind to here. How much wood do we have? Let me go back to the house and see what kind of wood we got going on. I think I can chop these trees over here. Like, if I wanted to be a giant asshole, I can go to the public park and just chop down all the random trees out here. I wonder if you could chop down that big tree over there. I bet I get in trouble for it. Like, what happens if I chop this tree down? Oh, you can't chop that one down. It's apparently special. It's part of some festival or some event or something like that, so you can't fiddle with it. I don't know why you'd be able to fiddle with a tree anyways. They don't seem entirely altogether too musical to me. Up we go to check our supplies. I had to figure out how much money we have and if I wanted to expand any further. I may actually get rid of some of these trees. Like, maybe like these four or something like that. I don't know. I gotta expand the road down this way, too. And keep the road going out this way so we can decide where we want to put stuff. Because I am gonna need a secondary field. Now that we have the supplies to keep putting in more sprinklers and whatnot, it seems like a really, really smart idea just to grow as much stuff as I humanly can. I needed to check my wood supply. All right, wood supply, how are you looking right now? We got 325 wood. The supply is actually better than I expected it to be. I thought we would have less, and so... Goody, goody, gumdrops. We have enough wood for right now. And considering I'm almost always out of wood... I'll probably put you in there. Let's sort some things out on this side. I don't know if I want to sell the forageables or if I want to start throwing them into collections. So for the crab pot bundle, we need a mussel, we need a clam, and we need like a crab or actually I think I have a crab. Yeah, there we go. So we can actually finish that collection. Let's walk on over and we'll get that done. It's less stuff in our inventory and it's more upgrades for the upgrade throne. And while we're not very close to getting like any of the bundles done, we're at least making a go of it. I would also suggest that we do the construction bundle while we're out here. I think that might also be a really, really good plan. While I've got a surplus and I'm not actively engaged in expanding or like moving around the farm, I've got extra money, I've got extra materials, so I feel like completing that now instead of waiting till later when materials might be a little bit more desperate, feels like a poor plan to me. So let's just get what we can done when we can get it done. I don't know if this way is faster or going through town is faster when it comes to getting to the community center. Who is that? Oh, I'm not going to give you anything because I don't even know you like that. You're not my friend. Not in the way that Penny is. You don't understand me like Penny does. I know that you try. I know. You put in the effort, but... Effort doesn't make the horseshoe land on the spiky thing. Alright, so we had... Animal bundle. Oh, we needed wool, duck eggs, large eggs, large eggs. I haven't seen a whole lot of large eggs, though. Unless I've been using them all to make mayonnaise, and they were actually called large eggs, but I thought they were just called eggs. It seems like there's a lot more of these little tribble things running around. Oh, I already put the crab in. Well, that's disappointing. That's deeply disappointing. I can find a cockle or like a periwinkle, and that'll be the easiest way to get it done then. Well, we'll still do the construction bundle. Can't recall if this one was the construction bundle. And we got some high-quality fertilizer, which will help out a little bit. I could technically buy most of these bundles right now, but I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money. You never know what challenges are going to come up in the future that you might need a little bit of cash for. Real life is the same way. Real life is definitely the exact same way where it's just like, wait, did I... Let's see, construction bundle is in the crafts room. I knew I was missing it somewhere. If I don't have enough hardwood, we may have to come back later, but we'll get all this stuff slotted up for right now. Someone said you could fix the floors, but I tried fiddling around with some stuff and it didn't work, so I assume they were just pulling my leg. Just messing with me. I get a lot of weird information on the internet. In my comment section. I will go there. Alright, so there's another bundle completed. We probably could have done that one a lot sooner. That's one of the ones you can get done in like the first season. 
But that gets us really, really close. I mean, if we get the winter bundle done, we can then repair the bridge and we'll be good to go. Oh, cool, a charcoal kiln. It's not that good because I doubt that I would ever use it because it turns like tons. I think it's how much is it? 10 pieces of wood into one piece of coal. All right, if that exchange does not seem good to me, given how relatively useful wood is and how prevalent coal is, I just don't see anyone ever making that conversion unless they're really, really desperate. Just not seeing it. Alright, so it's nighttime now. Rabbits are running into bushes and all that kind of stuff. Can't do anything with that tree right there, so instead we're going to go up and to the left. This will take us back home. It's weird seeing rabbits out at night. In general, around where I, where I live, you don't see rabbits anytime but the afternoon. Like, early afternoon, like 1 p.m., you'll see rabbits all over the place. And then in the mornings and whatnot. I don't, know, I don't live in, like, a rabbit-infested area, though. There's another area of town where there's rabbits, like, everywhere, where you could drive around and there's just, like, five of them. In every front yard. Seriously, I'm not even messing with you. There's jackrabbits everywhere on that side of town. It's like an infestation almost. But on my side of town, we don't really have wildlife. I <laughs> clams, blackberries. Yeah, I'll probably just get rid of all these. I might need another storage chest too. Well, damn. I'll have to decide how I'm going to swap it all out, too. That's the second problem. Where am I going to put it all? I will get rid of you, corals. Crab, you can go, too. I don't think I'm going to need you anytime soon. Regular old crab that doesn't have any special stars next to it. If you were a really special crab, you would have a star next to your name. You'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. A star next to my name? What are you trying to do right now? This sounds historically dubious. I'm like, not like that crab. He's like, mm-hmm. That's how it always starts, isn't it, fascist? I'm like, oh man. Now I've upset the crabs. The crabs were my only friends. And now they're upset with me. I suppose I could bring everything indoors. Like with all my crafting stuff and all my random like utilities and things like that. That would clear up that little walkway, wouldn't it? Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's move things around a minute. I don't really want the slime. However, everything else is welcome to go like wherever the hell it wants to go. Shouldn't be too difficult to rearrange. With the Autumn's Bounty, I'm going to have to put that in here. Save it for a little while later. I do need to use some of that stuff. Like, I, I always save consumables. I don't know what it is with me and consumables, but I tend to sit on them forever. I think it's a remnant of my MMO history. Like, I played a lot of MMOs for a long time, and I tended to sit on top of, like, rare quest items, like things you couldn't get anymore. Because, like, people would use them for, like, a one-time 30-minute joke and be like, Ha, 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 look at me, I'm turned into a tiger. Or something like that, and then they would phase it out of the game or whatever, and you wouldn't be able to get that item anymore. But then they would be like, oh, but for the people who saved theirs, we made it permanent as a little treat. And then you'd be like, well, I wanted to be permanent. Like, you'd be upset about it. Like, legitimately upset about it. I need another tapper, by the way. Give me one more tapper so I can put it on this tree. And now that that's done, we'll bust up this chest. I'll move that inside, and we'll be nice and clear. I thought I had coal. Maybe I threw it in the... I did. I totally did. Which tree needs a tapper? It was like in here somewhere. There. That one's going to be all off kilter with the rest of it, but whatever. It's going to harvest on a different day is what I mean. All right, random stuff drawer. Why do I feel like there's less stuff in here now than there was previously? No, it's pretty full up actually. It's pretty close, but we got a second chest, and now we've got everything organized, and so our entire house is looking pretty good. Right now, I'll probably move that to here, sit that on the floor, move that over to there so that I have a little bit more room. That'll go in the center. I like how the Joja Cola sign is already, so I probably won't move that around much. Oh, I can move the window, too? Yeah, put the window over the sink. That's where most people have a window right there. And then that's centered up pretty decently with the pictures on the wall, so I'm not going to fiddle with it anymore. It's bedtime! Sleepy time. Hanging out. Making money off of corn and crabs.
Huzzah! And the cock has crowed. There's a joke in there somewhere. People from olden times had funny sayings. Is that fog? Oh no, my sprinklers are working. I don't think I've ever seen them actually functioning before. Figured I'd give you this recipe I had laying around. Try not to burn it. Fried eel. Ooh, I love unagi. I can't afford unagi, but unagi's delicious. If you've never had, like, tempura unagi, or if you've never had, like, deep-fried unagi, it's it's pretty good. It's I like the texture of it. I like the taste of it. I like just about everything about it. I ordered it on accident one time. When my girlfriend and I first started dating, I was trying to impress her. And so I took her out to a Japanese restaurant that was across town. And it turned out to be a lot more highbrow than I thought it was. I thought this particular restaurant was, like, middle of the road. Like, I was thinking, like, maybe Benihana's, but, like, a little bit cheaper. And unfortunately, it just did not go down like that. It did not go down like that at all. We got the menu and there was no prices on it. Kids, that's a giant warning sign. When you go into a restaurant and nothing has a price next to it because they just assume you can afford it, that's bad. That's really, really, really bad. Try to keep the art of fishing alive. Somebody gotta get me some smallmouth bass. I don't care about this. The 25th. Not a lot of things to accomplish, so I'm going down into the dungeon. I get these calls from Danville, California every day. Somebody sold my number to like a call list or something. I don't know. It started about a month ago and like non-stop they hit me with these. I, it was actually motels. I stayed in a hotel for a little while and I think they sold my information to somebody because I get constant automated calls now on my phone. Like right this second I'm getting one from like Danville and from like two other places in California and every single time I pick up it's an automated message. So it's a robot, you can't tell them that you want to, like, be taken off the list. It's just like a robot that's like, blah, 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 blah. Please be aware, blah, 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 blah. Goodbye. And it's just like, I hate you so much. <laughs> loopholes. Loopholes. People finding loopholes. I'm fairly positive that that's illegal, too, in some way or another. But I doubt that the people that do this kind of stuff care. Yeah, chop him to death, please. Chopsticks and chopsticks and chopsticks and chopsticks and... I actually... I can't decide if I love the piano anymore. My neighbor upstairs has a piano, and his daughter, who's like six years old, just plays it all day long. And she's not... I don't think she's taking lessons or anything. It's mostly just, like, frenzied hammering. I, I think she's in desperate need of lessons. And it's like... I don't know why keyboards do this, but compared to, like, a real piano, keyboards always has, like, this... They have this thump sound whenever they make the... The noise when you push down the key it goes like thump like briefly right before it makes like the piano key noise and so anyways normal pianos don't do that but it comes through the ceiling and so for hours and hours and hours a day all you hear is thump 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 occasionally she'll turn on the drug machine so you got a little bossa nova in there bank 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 I'm back, 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 I'm back, back. I know I should be nicer about it. And these sort of things are to be encouraged with children, but... I don't know. Something about my ceiling going thump, 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 thump. Six hours a day just rubs me the wrong way. I was good until it happened for like two years straight. I, I was willing to hand wave it like the first month or so. But it's been two years now. It's just like, yep. I need to find a new residence. Deeply, truly, and badly, I need to find somewhere else to live. What I need to do is move out of the bay, is what I need to do. Living in the bay has inflicted this just kind of poverty on me that I can't really deal with. Living in the Bay Area, it's one of the most expensive. There's us and there's New York City, the two most expensive places to live in the United States. And so for the people who like lived here for like the past 60 years, it's gotten really, really expensive. Gentrification is basically running like everybody I know out of their homes nowadays. It's getting to the point where it's not sustainable anymore. People are starting to flee in droves, which I don't like very much. But what can you do about it? Not much. There's market forces at work, or so people keep telling me. Yay! I'm trying to go through here as quickly as possible. I'm not really interested in like finding treasures or doing anything particularly unique down in the dungeon. Instead, I have chosen just to hammer away on these stones and try to get myself the hell on out of here. We need like a Mega Man X charge attack. That's what we need with this sword. Like, and then we can fire it at somebody. Oh, he's trapped. 
He's a dumb douchebag that doesn't know how to get past a rock. Climb over, you idiot. That's right. See, that's why your head looked like an onion. Because you can't think about climbing over rocks. He's like, you can't climb over rocks either. I'm like, well, yes, but I can pickaxe them. And so the climbing was never necessary. You see there why I never evolved that strategy? Because I didn't, I didn't need that strategy. I'm really hoping we find the dungeon exit soon. It's already 1 p. Okay, if you really want me to take your treasures, I will take your treasures. The lead rod. I haven't seen that in a while. I think we just got rolled out on by like a level 1 slime. Is that a glow ring? What is that right there? Yeah, it's got the glow ring. We got the magnet ring, and I already have a glow ring, so I'll probably just sell that one. And in the meantime, we also need food, I guess. So let's eat a giant hazelnut. Nom, 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 nom. Which will be delicious. And then we'll eat a plum. And then we'll eat another hazelnut. And that'll be it for our episode. I'm going to continue diving down through the dungeon. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Stardew Valley. If you don't know, you must be new because there's like 60 episodes of it. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on by. Keep an eye out for changes to, or changes to the channel. Also, keep an eye on your notifications. I think Twitch, I'm sorry, I think YouTube is not working with notifications the last week or so, and it has been incredibly alarming. So anyways, be sure to check in every now and again. I put up fresh content every single day, so, well, I guess the freshness remains to be seen. It might be slightly farty content. Anyways, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.